Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play EU4 as the Oirat. Things are still... actually, they're pretty much unchanged from the last time in Europe, although that's still kind of a weird situation to be in. England still broke, Austrian Euthenia is pretty scary, actually. It's a big Austria, although I doubt that it's going to be something that we're more or less going to have to concern ourselves with. We'll see. If we do uh, end up... Oh! Bukhara's gone completely. Look at that. Russia just ate them all. Probably uh, just make sure to fabricate some backup claims against them. Just to make sure. Well, uh, I'm going to grab Ashabad. Because if we get that, then we can start poking Persia. Which might change things up in interesting ways. Alright, just dealing with a little bit of uh, rebellion nonsense. Cleaning that mess up, which is fine. While we have finished coring everything, we're mostly concerned ourselves with um, trying to get our admin tech up. Which means I should probably not be conquering too much. General died. So we'll have to re-roll a few next time we're in a battle. Army tradition is quite low. It's been a while since we've done a lot of really strong warfare. And we are really low. Um, we don't have anywhere near as many forts as we would need to get the full army tradition bonus. Uh, but I'm not sure that we want to go and build that much more. We'd have to have a lot of forts. It would cost us a ton of money to do it. Okay, that's that. Workshops done. I'll, I'll charge up a bit more money again, just in case. Okay, clean that up. Go and group you there. Um, oh, and you guys go down to Wanju, which is probably where the next rebellion is going to happen. Yeah, Korean Separatists is starting to power up. Now, we've, we're getting a lot of rebellion stacks that are like 35, so I'm actually thinking I'm going to move everyone down here to be ready to deal with a particularly large rebel stack. Influx of ideas. Hey, there we go. What do we get? Come, tell me it's admin. Yes, we got admin points out of that. 40 admin points for free. Just beautiful. I mean, our admin tech levels are really cheap right now because of the discount. And there's still something to be said about picking up uh, espionage ideas so that we can get more power points. But we're still behind on Diplo, and that would cost us there, so I'm not sure. And we have a whole idea group we could take. I'm not rushing into it, though, because it would be nice to catch up in technology. That being said, the earlier we take the ideas, um, the ideas give you a discount on your technology. So, there's something to be said about that. So, we'd have to get all the way up over here to be able to start studying technology, which might be fine, especially if we end up falling behind militaristically, which obviously we don't generally want. Um, but that might happen, especially if we want to finish quantity ideas and the fact that we generate fewer power points in that than the other categories. We might fall behind a little bit, and then we can use our study technology to really get a huge bang for a buck. But other than that, like, I don't think it's a huge priority. I think we'd be better off getting trade for a lot of money. That's probably the best thing for us to be doing. Crisis in Oirat. Uh, right. This shamanistic tradition set aside with no effects. I, I guess is fine. I mean, unless it's, that leads to triggering more events which people may have clarified one way or another in the comments um, multiple times by now. But I am having to do some amount of bulk recording ahead of time of some trips here, so unfortunately I'm not able to respond to things in real time. Uh, Korean Separatists are definitely popping up now. Specifically, yeah, it's going to be in Wanju, which means I could actually, at this point, just stand on Wanju, and that's probably going to be, yeah, sufficient to just squash that. Now it's going to, it's gray, it's going to go down over time, which is nice. Diplomat's coming home. Right, whoever claims. So I'm sitting at max manpower, which, as I've often said before, I don't like. I like to do something with max manpower. But we don't have the Diplo and the Admin to really just throw around on some stupid wars. Um, which is kind of frustrating. Bulukistan is really annoying me, too. Like, if you're, if you're going to try to split off and become independent, just do it, buddy. There we go, next admin tech. Uh, I see no reason not to jump on this right away. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We'll unlock far, uh, f uh, fast march, which could be handy, or force march. Benign neglect. Let's just go for um, tax. Normally I go for the manpower one. It's like a no-brainer for me, but I don't need the manpower modifier right now. Alright, so we're sitting on that. Rebellion risk is going down, which is really handy. Which means I could really move this guy somewhere, but we don't have any other rebellions. There's no one even thinking about it. Korean separatists are about to go away completely. 
which is really nice to see. All right, and I still like having the missionary strength guy. I think it's really handy to be converting provinces over. Uh, if I wasn't behind on Diplotech, I would probably take this opportunity to look at maybe doing some culture changes. Although, oh, that's autonomy. Hold on. Yeah, see, N Nepali over here. We're probably never going to be having enough of those to accept them. And maybe Tibetan as well. But I need the uh, points to tech up. It was easy to do before when we were a bad tech group because teching up was so much more expensive, relatively speaking. But that is no longer the case. Stupid high liberty desire. And he won't drop below that because he's got too many alliances going on. And he's big. And someone is agitating his liberty. Just declare already. I should enable Scuttage because you're probably not going to do anything in the war anyway. So Japan keeps having problems. There we go. We're no longer overextended in any way whatsoever. So they would be a target. I mean, we only have 10 uh, transport ships. Although at this point, that may in fact be sufficient. Ooh, we're above our naval force limit. Right, of course we are. That makes sense. Um, can I build more docks? No, I cannot. As the autonomy drops a little bit more along the shore here, we will get some more naval force power. But for now, we'll just have to accept the fact that we're over the limit. Um, and let's see if we can... There we go. Now, I don't really have a dominance over that trade node. But I think it's still worth... I have a pretty decent amount over here. Actually, who else might be in the gear and trade node? Is someone running some ships over here? Some. I could probably just build a couple of trade buildings over here and end up being okay. The local trade power. I don't even know if that's the right trade node. Yeah, it is. There we go. That's going to be plenty. I'm not too worried about much more than that. Uh, it could be a permanent unrest drop somewhere. I don't know. I think more manufactories. Again, ideally in places where I have... Oh, I don't have enough money. Ottomans! Abolitionism! Slavery is banned. Oh, there we go. So Ottomans, I don't know if they've grown at any point recently. I'm not sure. There you go. More Diplotech. Merchantmen. That's the next level of transport, right? Yeah, yeah. The next level of transport. I don't know if I'm too concerned about upgrading that. Trade range, colonial range doesn't bother me much. We could upload, upgrade our other trade buildings to the full trade depot. But I think for now we're okay. Noble rebels. Hmm. Yay, conversions. Yeah, 28 months is really not a brutal time for conversions. Religious unity isn't too high, but there we go. Um, I would rather lose Diplo power than effectively lose admin power, which would be the case if I were to lose stability. Because, again, I really want to go up here. More production efficiency is going to be quite nice, but particularly I'm looking for, what is it, level 17 for the admin efficiency. We'll still be quite far behind tech-wise, which means we'll still be getting a discount. Um... We might decide to start expanding once we hit this 20% because we will have a reduced cost for, you know, war score and Cory and all those. We might just wait until we hit 23. There you go. Oh, yeah, we get more development efficiency too. Not that I'm planning any real uh, development. Could do the universities. I mean, it could drop a university in the capital, which already has a big development discount, especially with the size of your country. Uh, sure, we'll take manpower. But I'm not convinced that, you know, that's the route we want to take anyway. Advancements of nobility, they get more influence. Not hardly a big problem. I'm really not impressed with the faction system. I thought it was sort of interesting and colorful at first, but it's just sort of like an extra set of numbers that forces me to push some buttons when I conquer some territory, and that's pretty much it. Um, I'm considering going and just finishing the quantity ideas here. We might be able to get a 10% discount on military tech. We're not about to war. So I'm not too worried about military tactics, and we'll get a further discount if we complete this. And that might be helpful. Plus, we could get, hey, even more manpower. Which we don't need right now, but later on, we'll be very happy to get the extra force limit and manpower. So what the hell? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Let's 
Seriously, though, <clears throat> I'm really annoyed about my vassal. Just declare war on me already. God. Delhi is allied with Afghanistan. Make sure we got a claim on these guys. Don't think I particularly care where. Um, if I make sure to grab Pan Panipat over here, that would give me a land connection to Malwa. Now, they're my allies right now, but that might not last forever. Anyway, my diplomats aren't doing anything. Let's go ahead and suck up to my allies. And technically, my vassals as well. Oh, I'm out of diplomats. Never mind. Okay, I lost... Okay, I can get another missionary strength guy. Again, I'd love a level 3 dude, though. Just to give me more points. But the missionary strength is just so very powerful. I can drop my army maintenance as well. I don't think they're going to be required. There we go. Still no unrest. What if I drop it all the way to zero? Still no unrest right now. So we'll have to keep an eye on that. But for now, we're seeming to be pretty okay. All right. So we'll be able to do... Oh, there we go. Wanju does have some unrest. Not much. Let's go to like a quarter maintenance. Maybe it only recalculates once a month. Let's check it out in June. There we go. Zero unrest. Perfect. Uh, I could go and build like the highest level forts. What's that one? 24. Okay. But I could build some star forts. Um along some of these borders, especially where I already have a fort. I don't necessarily want more forts. I just want my existing forts to be more of a pain for these people. I think right here would be an excellent pick. I don't know about that one as much. Maybe right along the Russian border somewhere. We don't really have forts right along the border, but maybe right there. There we go. Just a lot harder to siege out the higher level forts. Need a lot more cannons, and I think they've got a slower siege tick at the same time. Um, and maybe one down there. Okay, I'm going to call that good enough. So, I mean, ultimately, later on, if we get to be a really rich nation, you want your force limit to be as high as possible. Right now, we're actually going to have a really high force limit when we complete our quantity ideas. So, mostly, I think we'll be limited to maybe money. So, for now, I'm just going to focus on making just more money. More trade goods in nodes where we have a decent amount of power. Actually, I don't know if... No, all those places are pretty good. Poor government policies. Lose stability or lose money. Uh, how much money am I making? Mm, not enough. So if I do this, I'm going to be forced to take a loan, which drives me crazy. But I don't want to lose more admin power. So we're going to do that. If that thing had stayed up long enough, or if it had come up... Oh, shoot! I could have... Hold on, hold on, hold on. I still can. I still can. Uh, cancel. There we go. Let's say if it had come up before I'd started a building, but hey, I can cancel a building, get my money back, then I'm not having to take out a loan. Whew. Thank goodness I recognize that in time. Vassal's still being douchebags. We've got our war goal over there. But I'm not looking to expand right now. I just want some claims. I just want some options. Conversions. Yeah, that plus 2% is really nice. Religious unity is still really poor because we have, like, such a terrible mishmash of religions. Such a terrible mishmash of religions in our country. And that'll never stop being the case. Now, can I get more just flat religious unity? I mean, I guess if there was anything that was going to do it, I think it was going to be the, um, the humanism. And I think we actually do have a bonus from humanism there. And that might be all. I don't remember if there's anything else. Bunch of recent uprisings just went away, which probably means, yeah, we'll get some rebellion risk again. We are going to take the next level of admin tech over here. Get the admin efficiency. Russian separatists in Comey. Where's Comey? That was way up here, right? Let's move some extra dudes over. We may have to raise our maintenance a little bit. No guy separatists. And Bayuli? Bayuli? Yeah, we still have the unrest, and that's with the new month tick. So, either I want them to rebel, 
while I have some troops nearby. I guess in either case, I might be tempted. Well, they're not going to rebel yet. 36 years. Yeah. No, actually, that's pretty good. Where's the other one? Fine. By Yuli. Oh, down here. Okay. So this is going to be... This may not be enough to kill all the unrest, but it will lower it and continue to ensure that the rebellions are very far away. Truce with Russia just expired. Okay. There we go. They're embargoing us. More recent uprisings. It's going to continue to dramatically increase the chance that we'll get some rebellions somewhere. Although the chance is still pretty low. Convert some things over to Sunni or lose prestige. I guess we'll take the Sunni thing. Maybe it's going to convert... I mean, I'd, I'd rather not convert away Tengri countries or provinces, but it might um, convert over something that's not our religion. No, it doesn't seem to have been the case. We're still at 85%. Whoa, call to arms! Scandinavia! Ah, Scandinavian-Russian border war. It's a war they have started. So Scandinavia declared war on Russia. Well, of course we'll accept. I don't want to take the prestige hit. So that is a for sure. Let me keep a, ha like a stack of th about 34k over here, which should be enough to deal with any rebels. Then you and you are going to move to the Russian front. We'll park you over there for now. You guys will make a beeline over there. I'm going to take um, all the artillery out and move you over there as well. And then this stack can go and just stay nearby. I'm going to move everyone to sort of the south. We're going to secure that first, try to keep my troops together. Now, most likely the fighting is going to be on the other side, but we, we have no idea where the Russian troops are. In fact, they're, they're right there, which would be bad because we weren't at full morale. We were able to move out of the way in time, though. Um, let's keep pulling back here. More recent uprisings have gone away. So this is a perfect time for us to be in war because we'll probably have to deal with a million billion rebels at the same time. Okay, so they are going to engage me here. Uh, let's roll some generals. Hmm, not bad. I think we can support two, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, this one has more total combat pips. Oh, you're already locked. All right, do that. That's fine. We'll give the other leader over here. We aren't going to start with full morale, but what's the Russia's military tech? 22, we're at 23. So we've got the extra um, uh, extra tactics, which is good. We don't have a huge front line, but our cannons are going to do bonus damage over here. And victory. Wonderful. All right, you can go back down there. You can go back down there. You are sieging that out, which is great. I'll split you in half. Go there. Go there. Go there. Okay, who else is in this war on the Russian side? No one. Russia's completely isolated. Excellent. Now, I don't know if this is going to affect their, their willingness to support my uh, my vassal. Sir, oh, there we go. 51k stack, and they're coming to me. Well, let's have you guys come down that way, and you are going to come down over here. We can certainly defeat them. Really? You're going to get engaged? Shit. Well, that's bad news. I say, as long as, you know, we don't engage them piecemeal, we'll be fine. But we can't reinforce these guys. Be nice if you guys could run, 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 run. There we go. Because then, if I choose to run them, I get to choose where they run to. So it's a lot safer. It looks like they're heading back up north. Yeah. Which is good. I'm going to make sure they're not turning around back on me here. So, Scandinavia is not fighting them, which really annoys me, because I would be much happier if they were. Okay, yeah, we're going to be fine. I'm going to be fine to fight them again, actually. They took quite a few uh, pieces of attrition over there. Uh, how's my force limit right now? We could technically fit three more dudes in here. Okay, 
There we go. We'll make one big death stack. We'll probably be attrition pretty heavily, but that's okay. Uh, I don't care about national spy defense. Although, no, no one's spying on me, so I guess it's probably fine. Are you... Where are you going? Are you moving? Oh, you are going to engage down here. Interesting. Well, I am very willing to let you do that. It does suck that we don't have a general yet. I'm going to wait until he's locked. There we go. Oh, was I not moving this stack? Oh, that was the stack that I brought in. This should be okay. We're not going to get a defensive boost, but we're going to have pretty substantial reinforcements. We're not going to have a defensive boost, and we're not going to have a general on turn one. But we have a lot of reinforcements coming. I think we can win this, and certainly we're going to take the fight. Because A, I don't want to break the siege, and B, there's not really going to be much better of a chance. Although I could probably figure something out. We have the higher base morale. Discipline and tactics are the same currently. We've got a lead, and there's still lots of reinforcements on the way. You're not even going to make it there. I will let the others come in here, just in case, but... Boom. Excellent. Is this the one with the siege bonus? No, this is the one with the siege bonus. No, neither one has a siege bonus. Okay, so it doesn't matter. Let me just split you in half and move up a bit. They got another few stacks over here. I don't know why they're fighting me and ignoring Scandinavia. We both have the same military tech. Scandinavia may have more uh, modifiers. I mean, I don't think that's what the AI is, is thinking. But Scandinavia may have more combat uh, modifiers left over from when they were Sweden. And they get crazy, crazy combat modifiers. Just going to let this guy finish the move so that we can reduce attrition first. And there's no way you're finishing that. There's no way. But I will be quite happy to actually engage on you. There we go. Yeah, you change your mind. As I knew you would. Split you in half. Send you over here. Just going to try to cut back on attrition. So I'm going to let this half move first. Now. Provinces of interest. All the things. Just saying, um, Scandinavia, I would like all these things. Just a 1k stack that's moving in there. Alright, split you. And there. Detach. Take these guys. And we are going to catch them. Spreading a little thin, but that's their military stack over there, and they're still running away, and they're going to take a little while to recharge. So we can afford to thin ourselves out a wee bit for a moment here. And we're going to go and sit on this fort. And around the fort. So that we can reinforce pretty easily. And I think we're just going to sit here as a relatively large stack at this time. Okay, more recent uprisings are going away. Which again has me a bit nervous, although we're still quite far unrest-wise, which is nice to see. Be tempted to boost stability, but again, I do want to tech up. My god, another idea group. We don't have the points to take idea groups right now, so I'm going to continue to not take them. Although, I suppose, by merely unlocking idea group, I think we open ourselves up to the events for it. That may be worthwhile. Cannons, move up there, and go there. I mean, I'm probably going to take quality ideas later, or maybe offensive. Offensive would be fun. We'd siege a lot faster, which would really help if we're going for land grabs. I'm actually... You know what? We're going to do that. We'll also be grabbing trade ideas later, but... Well, maybe I'll grab trade now, because I think this might start giving us mercantilism. Uh, effects, which would be a beautiful thing to have. I'm not worried about the exploration 
ideas or the expansion ideas. I don't think that's going to be required. Uh, influence, meh. Yeah, trade we know is going to be really, really good for us. Throughout the rest of the game. It's going to make us a ton more cash. Uh, I think we only need 10 cannons here. Yeah. Do this, because I think they're slightly short on their full cannon bonus. Okay, yeah, if you want to move in and do that, I'll be your huckleberry. I'm worried they're going to change their mind, yeah, because we, we threw in too many dudes. They might go and attack me in there instead. That is indeed their plan. Steps. Uh, where are they going to have a river crossing? They only have a maneuver of one. And we have at least that much. And they're locked. Okay, it's happening. Oh, that's an annoying reinforcement path. As is that. That actually might screw us up. I was forgetting that we'd have insano pathing around the fort. They do have the river crossing, which is nice and helpful. Good reinforcement chunk there. We're losing huge numbers, but their morale is dropping pretty quickly. But we're almost out of dudes here. Almost. Just hold out a little bit longer. We're going to get a trickle in here. Yay, conversions. Convert some more. Oh, come on. Come on. Ah, oh, Christ. At least you guys didn't lock. Thank goodness for that. Okay, have everyone move in on this fort over here. That's a pretty good stack here, actually. Do I want to engage? We'd have them outnumbered. They wouldn't have a defensive bonus. Oh, we have a derp comp. Never mind. Although... We could group up over here. Get some half-decent frontline troops. Because one of these stacks has a bunch more infantry, which might fix our math. And it does. Do a big consolidate and attack. Actually, that's interesting. How come the cavalry is not... Oh, we can still have our 80% cavalry? Really? Still, we could use some extra numbers. I'm going to wait for these guys to join in here. Ah, that's actually looking excellent. Let's jump in on these guys. Oh, they've reinforced as well. But we're locked, so I guess we're fighting. Shit. <laughs> Uh, oh, we're crushing them, though. We have higher base morale, but we might have uh, higher multipliers for some of our other troop types. We also have a lot more cannons. We're getting to that point where our army stacks can be big enough that just, like, throwing, showing up with just a crap ton more cannons equals we just win. Which is a nice place to be. Split up to save a little bit of attrition here, although you... Oh, you can't go across there. Yeah, okay, just stay where you are. That's fine. Now, we still have one army hanging out way back here for some potential rebel busting, which I'm okay with. We have this stack over here as well. And everyone else is just running around. Okay, well, we're going to put a cut in here. Looks like we salvaged that. I was being, you know, I'm always playing too fast and too loose with these armies uh, before we've broken the opposition. But, you know, it's working out okay. It's fine. What could possibly go wrong? Thanks for watching. See you next time.